Welcome to our supply chain simulation. In this video, we will explain how the game works by taking the example of the wholesaler. In the game, you'll have a client and a supplier. In my case, the client is the retailer and my supplier is the distributor. During the game, you'll receive orders from your client. You'll need to ship the corresponding cases to him. In the same way, you'll send orders to your supplier and you'll receive cases from him. Your goal is to decide the right quantity to order from your supplier so that you have the right stock level to meet your client's demand. Be careful not to have too much stock as this will generate costs. But if you don't have enough stock, you'll fall into back orders, which will also generate costs. So how do we play? Every week, you'll see an animation with the exchanges happening for your role. In my example, on week zero, I just received four cases from my supplier. Also, my client ordered four. Because I had enough stock, I managed to ship these four cases to him. I started with 12 cases in stock. I received four and shipped four. So in the end, I still have 12 cases in stock. Each case in stock generates $0.5. So this week, my cumulative cost increased by $6. If you don't have enough stock to fulfill the demand of your client, the missing quantities are put as back orders. These quantities need to be fulfilled, your client will be waiting for them. And back orders cost you a bit more than stock. One dollar per case every week. After the animation, it is time for you to decide how much to order to your supplier. Note that the delivery takes three weeks, so an order on week zero will be delivered on week three. To decide how much to order, consider your current stock and the demand you received from your client in the previous weeks. You can also see the incoming deliveries from your supplier as trucks going to your role. You have no visibility on the future orders your client is going to send to you because it depends on the decision of the participant playing that role you are not allowed to communicate with the other players. So try to estimate the future demand based on the previous weeks and try to maintain an adequate stock level in order to minimize your costs. As an example, I will order four for week zero. Once all the players have validated their order, the game will move to the next week automatically. If a player is missing, his role is played by the computer. You can see the current week at the top of the screen. The game will last for an unknown number of weeks. Final comments. If you play as the retailer, you will receive orders directly from the end consumer, which is managed by the computer. If you are the manufacturer, you do not have a supplier, but you will be able to produce cases with a three weeks lead time. Now it's time to play. Join your role and take on the responsibility of a supply chain manager. Good luck.